Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to download all the files from FTP server folder to local folder. But on daily basis we want to create a directory with data and then load those files from the FTP to that newly created local folder or directory. Now in this video we are going to learn how to create SSIS package from scratch. We are going to learn how to create variables in SSIS package and then write expressions on them. We will be using file system tests to create the directory if it does not exist. Then we will be using FTP task to download all the files to newly created folder. Now let me show you FTP server and here is my FTP server and I have a folder so I have a folder archive here it has a couple of files now I want to download all these files to the local directory and here is my local folder you can call it main folder but in this folder we will be creating the new folder with data and then we will move those files or copy those files from the FTP to that newly created folder now go to the SSDT or bids and create a new SSIS package once you are in the project you will be clicking on SSIS packages and then go to new SSIS package and here we will be using some variables I don't want to hard code anything because on different environments such as UAT, QA and Parad we will be changing the folder paths maybe also the FTP paths and all those kind of thing and I would like to have the variables so in this case I'm gonna create some variables and then use those variables here let's create a variable we will call this variable local path or local main folder this is going to hold the value for the main folder and I'm gonna paste that value here then uh, we are going to create uh, an other variable that will be local full path and lo local full uh, folder path and this will be variable that's where we are going to write the expressions and use uh, the first uh, folder value uh, local main folder value and add the date part to it so this should be string as well now go to the expressions and here we will be writing those expressions we'll use local full path sorry actually lo local main folder plus uh, we have to add the date part to it so to add the date we will be using get date and here we will be using dt wstr 30 and this is the date uh, and time part the, the get date is going to return us I'm casting that to the string so I, I can concatenate so that's how it is going to return but I do not need the time part so I'm going to take the substring and then take only first 10 characters from the left so that will give us only date I will put this expression in the description as well as on the blog post so you can take a look and here I can replace it the hyphens from the date part and just leave as it is if you are interested to put underscore you can go ahead and put underscore but in my case I just want to get rid of these hyphens so I, I put the, the comma hyphen then comma double quotes double quotes and that's all and then parenthesis close now you can see that I have this uh, new value by using uh, these expressions so this is the folder I want to create now hit ok and if we go back here you can sorry hit a uh, f4 and set uh, evaluate ex as expression to true in case you are using old versions and it is not set to the evaluate as expression to true now here if you take a look we can use the file system task and we can create a new directory in the operations go and create a new directory create directory and here it is asking use existing directory if exist yes true we don't wanna create a new one or drop it and here it is asking is this, is this a variable value we can say yes because we have created a variable and here we will provide a local full folder path variable hit ok 
now we can go ahead and run this package it ran successfully the folder is created you can see that it is empty right now but this is the, how it is created we can read on the package and test if it fails or does not fail so it doesn't fail it does not drop anything and if the folder is existing there so we can drop this folder by ourselves for now and we will run as an entire package when we build the FTP part to it as well next we need to download all the files from remote folder I'm gonna create a folder called remote folder and uh, it is going to be string as well and this is going to be back to sales and as uh, I'm looking forward to download everything I will be using asterisk dot asterisk so that's how sorry asterisk dot asterisk so this is a uh, how I'm gonna use this one and then I will go to the FTP task here I will make a connection to the FTP connection uh, server and here I will be providing uh, the server name or the server path sorry server IP address so we can provide the server IP address or we can provide the server name in my case I have IP in your case if you have FTP dot your company name dot com you can provide that and do not provide FTP colon backslash 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 that's gonna throw us error provide the username and provide the password connection manager test to successfully hit ok file transfer we are receiving the files so receive files is the local path variable that's correct and what it is that's the value we, we have created for the local full path we have used we can use that one and here it is in is the remote path variable yes and we have the values for that one as well remote folder and that's it now what happened once we are going to run this one it is going to create a new folder if it does not exist and then all the files will be downloaded from the FTP folder to that uh, newly created folder so let's go and take a look save it and uh, go to the local folder we don't have anything as of now start the folder is created and now the FTP failed so what happened the folder is cre created successfully but FTP failed let's take a look stop the package let's go and see what happened so it is saying remote folder does not exist it does exist but there is no file we are we were providing the wrong folder name so in case uh, you don't have the files in that one so this is what happening right now if we were pointing to sales folder if you remember but in the initial I told you we will be pointing to the archive so I made a mistake while I was writing it so that's why but one thing if your folder does not have any files it will fail so I have that video how to avoid this error if the file does not exist so you can go ahead and check that you can always make sure the file does exist before even run it so check that video in the playlist and uh, you can ma make sure the uh, if the file does not exist it shouldn't fail and next uh, as we made a mistake and we provide sales folder and there is no files in that one we should be using archive as as I was explaining to you I said we will be using archive so we can change the value to any folder what we like which has the files now if we run this one it should download the files from the archive so we can go back drop the folder one sorry drop the folder one more time now run the package it should run just fine so it ran successfully if you will take a look in the folder go back the two files are downloaded from the FTP and they were in the archive folder so now if I wanna download all the files to the test from the te uh, test folder they, those are on FTP and then you wanna download them to the same folder you literally don't have to do anything you just have to go and change this one to the test folder once you change this to test folder 
run your package the folder does exist already so it is going to download all those files and uh, you can go ahead and take a look so all the files are downloaded in this case uh, we are download downloading the file from multiple folders here we can change actually we are downloading from one folder at a time but we can loop through we can use the for each loop on top of that and provide the folder name whatever the names we have on FTP and download one after one one thing you notice we did not download the files from the folders itself so it is just downloading the files from the main folder so that's how it will work if you need to download the files from the folders I have a video in which you will be looping through folder and then getting all the files from that folder and downloading it so take a look on that one as well uh, and uh, I hope uh, you, you learned something out of this and uh, these uh, videos there are so many scenarios there are tons of scenarios we can cover and requirements can come but the I have pretty much all of different scenarios on the in the playlist you can go ahead and use some script from one and put into another one and build your own uh, SSIS package that can perform multiple things so I have uh, the f videos that will tell you okay how to avoid that or when no file exists you can use that package then you can use the other one how to download the files uh, from local uh, sorry from the FTP to the local and sync them how to sync local folder to the FTP folder and uh, how to avoid already downloaded or uploaded loaded files as well so take a look on those different videos and uh, you can merge those scripts and create uh, the new SSIS package from your uh, uh, or, or according to your requirement so it doesn't have to be like exactly the same there are I, I have created like 15 videos on FTP only so it doesn't mean uh, like you have new requirement and does not follow from the videos uh, you just stop there so go ahead watch it take some part from one take some, some put into another one and you are you will be able to perform uh, those requirements so thanks very much for watching this video and uh, looking forward to see you next video